We are going to continue build.exe.msi files based on jar. So make sure you can use jpackage on the command line. I'm using Java version 19.0.2. And uh, make sure you have already installed um, GameWix uh, toolset. Then you are using uh, JavaFX J modes. Once you have them all, then we are ready to create uh, .exe. Let's open it in uh, Terminal. Okay, this is where we have uh, JavaFX Java file. So let's type J package. Type, I'm going to use default exe. Input current directory, reporting to a Java file. Destination, I'm going to create a, a .exe file in this same directory. So I will just say a current directory. Main jar. JavaFX, Hello World, Docha, Main Class, this is going to be on the package, then my main class is app, so dot com, So it will become dot example dot java hello world dot app module pass. This is the way you're going to report to um, Java FX J modes. Let me copy the pass, paste it with the double quotations because there is a space with this in the pass. Add modules. I'm using two JavaFX modules, controls, then uh, JavaFX FXML. You may like to have a Windows shortcut on your desktop. Then you may add um, Java JavaFX application on your menu, Win menu. It may take a few um, minutes. Okay, let's say uh, two, three minutes. Please wait. Once it's done, you should be able to see a command line. Then you need to go to uh, artifacts folder, and then you can refresh. We are using default exe. Okay, here you go. You once you click it, it says the name of the pro program is app. That's the same as your class name and then version 1.0. Opening in uh, Windows Explorer. Now we have an app 1.0. I will show you how to change the version later on. Okay, this will take a bit of time because it's going to set up. Then uh, we will install um, everything on the app directory on Windows. Okay, it will take a, a bit of time, maybe two, three minutes. Please wait. Here you go. We have a desktop shortcut. Let's go to C drive, program files, on the app, there, there is a app exe, that's the original Java file, and then uh, runtime. So that you don't really have to um, 
Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up? FX install on your uh, destination system. Okay, next one I'm going to show you how to change to be MSI. And then let me cover a couple of other options. You can change the name of uh, application. By default, it's going to use the same as your class name. So let me change to my app. Your app version, we can change to be 1.1. .1. Default is 1.0. Description, you can set your own. I will say Java FX 19. Hello World app. Again, it's going to take two, three minutes to uh, uh, create the installation file. Okay, it's gone. So it is already here. 1.1. Let's open it with a Windows Explorer. We assume that this is a new PC. Uh, we are going to install my app. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. This time I'm going to launch from the Windows menu. Here you go. It works. I think that's all for today. Thank you.